We are here in Tuscaloosa, Alabama, home to the University of Alabama, and we're here to check out some great restaurants here, so uh, be sure to watch this video on an empty stomach. I'm here with Scott of the Scott Man, and it is great to be here in Tuscaloosa, Alabama. It is a beautiful afternoon today, and we're going to spend the next few days checking out a few different great restaurants here. So as I was just saying, Tuscaloosa is home to the University of Alabama, home to the Alabama Crimson Tide sports teams, especially their football team, which is basically a, a legendary program these days. But before we get to any of the restaurants, we're gonna explore the downtown area really quick. It's really, really nice. The city of Tuscaloosa was named after Chief Tuscaloosa, who ruled much of what is now Alabama a long time ago. Tuscaloosa happens to be one of the oldest place names in America. Also, the name Tuscaloosa translates from Choctaw as Black Warrior, which happens to be the name of the river here. Tuscaloosa was officially incorporated by European settlers in 1819. As a matter of fact, it was even designated as the state capital of Alabama from 1825 to 1847, when it was then moved to Montgomery, where it is today. And of course, no trip is complete to Tuscaloosa without visiting Bryant Denny Stadium, which is the football stadium for the Alabama Crimson Tide football team. The football program has won many national championships, both under le legendary coaches Paul Bear Bryant, as well as current coach Nick Saban. It was really cool too, is as you walk up to the stadium, they got this like this little hall of champions where it shows all the coaches who have won national championships for the Alabama Crimson Tide football team. So if you're visiting Tuscaloosa in the fall, you have to check out a, a football game here at the stadium. And then of course the biggest one of them all is the Iron Bowl between the Alabama Crimson Tide and the rival, the Auburn Tigers. All right, so I'm starting to get a little hungry, so let's head back in the downtown and get some food. But we're back here in downtown and we're gonna check out our first restaurant. So we're gonna start off here in downtown, we're gonna check out Avenue Pub. Avenue Pub is a very cool spot for some great food right here in downtown Tuscaloosa. So let's head on in and let's go get some, get some delicious grub. All right, so here inside and lively interior here. You got dining area as you can see, and there's also even a bar too. They got a lot of great pub fare here, like fish and chips, burgers, and many other different things too. But I haven't had a burger in a long time, so that's what I'm getting. You got their bacon, their bacon burger with provolone cheese, red onion, lettuce, mayo. This looks good. And of course, a side of fries too. are pretty good, I have to say. Have, 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 do they just have a little bit of seasoning on them? I think it tastes pretty good. <laughs> All right. Got to dig into this burger. Mmm. of a burger. Burger tastes fantastic. That's very well done. It's a, it's a little juicy too, so cooked very well. The bacon's nice and crispy. Great food. But yeah, I think where I was saying there's some other locations for Avenue Pub. I think around Alabama, or maybe at least around the Tuscaloosa area. But yeah, the food here is amazing. What a great way to start my adventure this week here in Tuscaloosa. My food adventure, that is. And, but yeah, quite tasty, I have to say. Anyway, so I will see you in the same video, but tomorrow for the next food place. second restaurant and looks like it, it rained quite a bit today but thankfully it stopped so we can get out and get some food. So we're here at Archibald and Woodrow's Barbecue. So when we're visiting Tuscaloosa or Alabama in general we have to get barbecue at least once. And Archibald and Woodrow's is a local 
like a, a local barbecue staplety here. There's another location up in Northport, which is the other side of the Tuscaloosa River. So we're over here at the Greensboro location, over near the, the freeway. So I'm in the mood for some great barbecue. So let's head on in and get some great food. All right, so here inside and nice cozy interior in here, I have to say. All right, so they got a lot of great barbecue plates here, especially their pork and their ribs. They got their large pork plate. Comes with a lot of, a lot of bread too. This looks juicy and delicious. Now that was good barbecue. It's like very tangy and the pork was just very juicy. It's like some of the juiciest pork I've had at a barbecue restaurant. But after all, they do barbecue very well here in Alabama. And yeah, another thing, it's hard to believe how early it gets dark during the winter, <laughs> but that's all right. It's like after eating a meal like that, now I need to go exercise. I might do that back at the hotel. So before we head to the next restaurant, which will be tomorrow, but in the same video, we need to check out the Riverwalk. So let's go do that next. And it's a beautiful day and before we get to our next restaurant, let's go for a little walk along the Black Warrior River. I may have incorrectly said Tuscaloosa River early in the video, but it's it's called the, the Black Warrior River. And it's very, very scenic. This river walk is one of the highlights in Tuscaloosa, so let's explore really fast. What a beautiful river walk. So yeah, the funny thing is this is not the whole thing. There's even more continues over toward downtown Tuscaloosa too. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and enjoy the rest of this off camera. And after that, I'm gonna head over to the next restaurant. So I'll see you there. So we're here at our next restaurant and we're back in downtown again. Figure since the river walk's not all that far from downtown, it's like just as easy to, to come over here. So you know, just almost across the street from Avenue Pub where I was the first day, we have De Palma's Italian Cafe. For what I was, for what I was reading online, they have some top-notch Italian food. They've been around since 1995, so they gotta have some great Italian food, pasta, pizza, you name it. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and cross over the road and then let's go enjoy some food. All right, so I'm here inside and I'm having to fill up my phone because it's a little dark in here. If I film my camera, it'll be a little too dark. Oh well, but really cool interior in here. It's pretty busy too. You gotta wait for like a half hour so you can tell this place is really, really popular. So they got a lot of great pasta dishes, pizza, calzones, other great Italian classics too. Trying their shell quarantine stuffed pasta shells with looks like some cheese. That's a bit. I'm not even sure exactly what's all in here, but looks actually looks absolutely fantastic. And also some garlic bread too. Oh, I see. I think I see some spinach. It's been sitting here for a few minutes. It's already so it's still steaming. <laughs> this is good. Really good. 
Oh, the pasta's homemade here. Of course, the, the sauce is fantastic. Although I have to be careful that I don't get splatter on my lap here. Alright, take, take another bite. Yeah, the, the cheese is really rich too, full of flavor. That was absolutely delicious. Yeah, unfortunately I couldn't film with my big camera in there it's because like before my food came out, they actually dimmed the lights. So it's like, no, it's not. So I ended up having to use my cell phone. That's okay though. But yeah, the, again, the food was amazing. The service was really, really nice. So yeah, definitely check out the Palmas if you're looking for some great Italian food here in Tuscaloosa. So there's another restaurant I want to check out on this restaurant tour. And think, funny enough, I think it might be here in downtown, but we'll go another day, but in the same video. So I'll, I will see you there. And we we're back in downtown Tuscaloosa, but no worries. Uh, really quick, I'm gonna give some honorable mentions of some restaurants that are outside of downtown. There are two great restaurants located outside of downtown Tuscaloosa. The first is Lai Lai, which has some of the best Chinese food I have ever eaten. The second is Local Roots, which has some fresh, delicious food. I got the Yardbird, which has chicken, pimento cheese, and tasty white barbecue sauce, which you can get in Alabama. But to conclude this full restaurant tour, we're still here in downtown, but we're gonna check out Urban Bar and Grill. Has some, they have a lot of great American food in there and including some good Southern food too. So I'm gonna head inside and grab a table and get some grub. All right, so I'm here inside and big interior I have to say in here. Yeah, my table's a little small, so I can't use my camera, but that's all right. I got my trusty GoPro. But we're more interested in the food. Got some delicious catfish here, mac and cheese, and of course the Scott Man Classic or coleslaw. They got a lot, of, a lot of great food from burgers, different land items to sea items. How to get something more southern. So catfish, of course the mac and cheese, and coleslaw. All right, this should be cool enough. I let it sit for a few minutes. good catfish. The breading is really good. This mac and cheese looks very creamy and delicious. And very rich too. This is awesome. All right, cold saw time. And that's good cold slaw. They didn't overwhelm, overwhelm it with a lot of dressing or anything. Good mix of vegetables like cabbage and carrots. Amazing. That was really, really good. Really enjoyed my meal in there. Service is awesome too. So definitely check out Urban Bar and Kitchen. I think I said Urban Bar and Grill mistakenly earlier. Oh well. <laughs> but Urban Bar and Kitchen, really great food. Except so Tuscaloosa has a lot of great restaurants, especially here in downtown. Got to check out three of them in this video. And even got to go to one that was outside of downtown. All right, so yeah, anyway, so a lot of great restaurants here in Tuscaloosa. So when you're visiting here, whether you're attending the, a football game at the Bryant Denny Stadium for the University of Alabama, or if you're just here visiting the Tuscaloosa area, a lot of great restaurants to choose from. All right, so uh, I hope you enjoyed this restaurant tour of Tuscaloosa. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to click that subscribe button to uh, come along and join me for the adventure. In, uh, don't forget to click that, that notification bell so that way you know when a new video goes live. Well, thank you for watching, and this is Scott with the Scott Man signing out here from Tuscaloosa.